Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 160 here on season number two. And today we are getting into my top three mistakes on buying silver. I mean, or buying precious metals for, for that matter of fact. These videos are meant for educational purposes only and not meant to be taken as financial advice. You are responsible for your assets and to properly protect them. So always please do your own research. So when, I, when I'm talking about like buying gold, buying silver, buying precious metals, I'm not talking about like buying ETFs or trust funds that are traded on the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. I'm talking about specifically buying it and, and like the, the most physical form, coins, bullion, bars, that, that kind of thing. So anyways, what, what I wanted to get into uh, was my top three. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. Number one was buying three grams of silver at a one ounce price so this was probably like my number one mistake that i ever made with buying silver and this was i guess like i think like my third time purchasing silver uh and i was buying through ebay and i was just kind of like browsing around i was like oh this this uh this silver is quite a bit cheaper than the other two that i was looking at right and so i was like okay well i'm gonna go ahead and, and you know start bidding on this one well, it was like, I think like 15 bucks at the time. Now, 15 bucks for for five for three grams is not that good of a deal. Uh, when the price of silver is trading at like $20 on eBay, right? It was like listed, I think like $20 around there. So I, I anyways, keep on, you know, bidding at, at, on it. And I'm like, I'm gonna win this thing now. Like I'm gonna win it. So I, I win it at like 20 bucks. I get this, these three grams. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like I completely, got like ripped off basically like that guy that guy i mean hands down he made a, a crap ton of money off that one sell of three grams like he'll probably never get that deal again so i, I guess i got kind of was a sucker that time so never again would i buy three ounces or three grams of silver for one ounce price it doesn't even compute it's 16 grams to equal one ounce right i, th I think that's what it converts to anyways let's go ahead and jump into number two which is buying from a non-reputable source or a unreputable source uh, so like i was saying earlier earlier on in my my silver stacking days i would buy from ebay because the price of silver was was cheaper there there's free shipping on super small orders and uh for me it was like there's there's a lot of different coins out there super easy kind of to find things and so i was like great i'll just stick with with this plus the bidding aspect of it i i really enjoy because you could get stuff possibly at cheaper because whatever people are on at that time or who who really knows but sometimes i mean sometimes you can get it for quite a bit cheaper on ebay and so i was was on there well i i bought probably I think like 10 ounces, I mean 10 ounces like at separate separate times of, of course. And so I, I get all my silver together and I was watching a video on YouTube and this guy was talking about how he bought some silver through eBay and he got it back and it was fake silver. And so I started researching how to, how to like spot fake silver and I like read that if you like cling something on them then and they make like a different noise than the rest of them then it's probably fake. Well I go to do that and next thing you know I'm like wow. This one is actually not real. It's It sounds different than all the other ones. And I was like, huh, maybe I shouldn't be buying from eBay anymore because I can't afford to be bu buying one ounces of silver and get it here and it's only like silver plated nickel or something like that. So I hop off there and I start going with, I believe right now I'm with um, Ampex, I think is the, the name. And I've also been kind of like flirting around with like J JM Bullion and other silver reputable silver sellers but let's go ahead and jump into number three which my my top third mistake which is buying whenever i want instead of having a plan so when i first started out it was kind of like oh hey like i got 20 bucks like i'll just go buy some silver or or like maybe make some bids or hey you know what like i'm kind of bored at work like let's just let's just look on ebay and see if there's any cheap silver like okay uh this one's trading a little bit lower or the bid price is a little bit lower like i'll go ahead and try to get in on that and if i can then i'll hey great i'll just you know take it and know that i got it for a cheaper price than what i would have paid maybe in three months from now or maybe even tomorrow or next week so for me it was kind of just buy whenever and there wasn't really a dollar cost average plan or any plan set in place now i basically make a regular bi-weekly deposit into a savings account and when that gets up to about 150 
uh, 200 bucks. I turn around and buy some gold with it. I've been buying 10th of an ounces of gold. Um, and that's because I guess right now I feel like gold for me personally is, is something that I would rather stack than I, I would rather than buying silver. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I, I would say that I don't really have any uh, backing on fact because of that. But for me right now, I, I maybe I just like the, the look of gold. And so I've been going with gold over silver right now, which making those regular deposits into that bank account to kind of like retrace gives me a better like dollar cost average because once that hits the price to buy that gold, then I go buy it. You know what I mean? So it's not set up by how I feel that day or whether I can find a cheaper price that day or hey, wh whatever it may be, the, the, the clouds it went over south instead of west today. So hey, it's a great time to buy some gold or silver. Like it, it kind of comes down to to that basically like a great guess instead of like, hey, like don't worry about it and we'll just keep on making those regular deposits and then once you have enough, just go ahead and buy that gold or silver. So anyways, those are the top three mistakes. I'll run through them real quick, which is buying three grams of silver at a one ounce price. Number two is buying from a non-reputable source. And then number three is buying whenever I want instead of having a specific plan on how I will buy my gold and silver. Anyways, we'll go ahead and jump into the question of the day, which is what artist or band do you always recommend when someone ask for a music recommendation for me uh lately i guess over the last like month i've been really recommending a lot of like celtic music um i don't know why that is i just have been like really really enjoying a lot of like the bagpipe and that kind of stuff and plus it kind of i don't know makes me feel inspired or uplifted and so uh if i had the opportunity to recommend music to someone or an artist or band that's what i would sell them i would just say hey you know what turn on pandora to celtic and like have the time of your life anyways we will go ahead and leave right there like i always say if you got a question regarding stash acorns robin hood as well as general investing business etsy coaching and m1 finance post those questions down below please don't forget to subscribe right up here and check out these two videos right here don't forget to check out this link and as always thank you for watching i really appreciate it <laughs>